All right, our next guest, not only a beast on the field, but a brainiac off it, um, and one of the best uh, linemen in the game. Yes, he He'll is. now be sporting purple, Sean O'Hara, like you are today, but not the blue that you sported for years with the Giants, and he sported. He's uh, a purple people eater. Wow, that's great, <laughs> and, and it's nice of you to wear the purple half zip in his honor. Please welcome to the virtual breakfast table, Vikings defensive tackle, Dalvin Tomlinson. Dalvin. Oh. Dalvin, uh, as I just mentioned, you spent your first se four seasons in the NFC East with the Giants, now headed to the NFC North. What made Minnesota such an attractive destination for you during free agency? Uh, you know, the coaching staff is real good. They had some great players, and uh, it was just a good fit for me around the board. And, um, yeah, it just felt like the right decision for me. DT. Good to see you, my man. I, I know the G-men are going to miss having you there, holding it down in the middle. You're kind of following in the footsteps of Linville Joseph, yep. who made that same track and, and did a nice job of us. So congrats on the new gigs. Um, listen, your coach, Mike Zimmer, hasn't been too thrilled with the direction of the Vikings defense as of lately. And here's what he had to say about the defensive performance from last season that you were not involved in. Well, we looked at, you know, the defense um, in – after the season evaluated, you know, it was, it was pretty barren in there. And so we had to address that. And, you know, honestly, at the end of the season, I was kind of down in the dumps when I kept looking at the, at the depth chart and knowing what kind of uh, salary cap space we had. Um, and so, you know, like I said, Rob's done an up and Rick have done an unbelievable job doing that. And um, they've got me re rejuvenated uh, with the guys that they've brought in. Yeah, he's talking about guys he brought in, and, and there we show the highlights. He's talking about you, my man. Uh, you're going to come in and help this 27th-ranked rushing defense from last year. What are you bringing to the Vikings fans and to that team? Uh, I think I could bring a lot to the table, especially with the running, the run-stopping aspect of it, uh, you know, helping, the, uh, helping them stop the rush up front with like a little secret uh, pass rush where you see every now and again. We got to make that come out a lot more. <laughs> We love it. Love having you on the show. And thanks for waking up with Good Morning Football. Let's go back to 2017 for a quick minute here. You were drafted, of course, then second rounder out of Alabama. Actually, let's go back even further. Before your days the Crimson Tide, you turned down an offer from the Crimson, choosing to attend Alabama over Harvard. What went into that decision? And any plans on attending Harvard after your football days are over? Um, most definitely. Um, you know, in my household, it's always with sports over uh, academics over sports, my bad. But um, yeah, I was always a nerd, I guess you can say. And when I was a kid, I used to always be like, I'm going to Harvard, I'm going to Harvard. And uh, they offered me a full scholarship to go to Harvard. And um, yeah, it was it was tough at first, but you know, football was my first love and I had to go back and play at Alabama. When I, it felt like home when I went there. <laughs> Dalvin, we all know you're a gamer on the field. You're a baller on the field. Um, but you're also a major one off of it, too. All right, tell us about your love for gaming. And, bro, did you really build your own gaming PC from scratch? Because if you did, I need some tips. My 11-year-old is, is on me right now about building him one. What did you do? How'd you do it? Oh, yeah, last year in quarantine, uh, I'd always wanted to build a gaming PC, but uh, I just got the parts, and one night I stayed up all night, and I pretty much built it from scratch, and... Uh, it's probably the best decision I made when it comes to video gaming. PC game is way better than console. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big <laughs> video game. I play pretty much everything from God of War to Call of Duty. And yeah, I, I love video games. That is, uh, you heard of the PS5, Mike Rob? That is the DT1 right there. So, 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 I mean, um, why is, why, why do you say that the computer is better than the actual gaming console? I, I need to know this, man, because again, I, like I told you, I got some kids at my house that's asking these very important questions. <laughs> so I would have to say, um, simply, when you when it comes to frames per second, a computer can get pretty, if you have a good computer, it can get over 200 frames per second, which new console is going to go up to 120 frames per second. So say you're playing Call that's of Duty, yes? the more frames... Uh, you see stuff a lot faster uh, because your, your frames are moving a lot faster. Like, you'll see somebody come around the door before they see you on their console come around the door. Oh, my goodness. Yep. 
You got a fan out of me, bro. Listen, you, yeah. you, you think my man making a lot of money on his two-year deal with the Vikings. You just wait till his playing career is over and he starts making these machines for everybody. All right, Dalvin, the Giants nominated you as their Walter Payton Man of the Year last season uh, for some of the amazing things you're doing off the field. Tell us more about your work with Kate's Club in Atlanta and Good Grief in the metro New York City area. Oh, yeah, Kate's Club, um, uh, a great organization, help a lot of kids. Uh, with the grieving process of uh, a lost loved one. And um, uh, me losing my dad and my mom at young ages, uh, I could connect with these kids uh, inside and out. And I know the pain they're going through. And just to have somebody there uh, uh, will also know the pain they went through and I uh, could just connect with them uh, helps in so many different ways. And uh, good grief is the same way. They help uh, loved ones across age, every age group. And um, just helping people get through that grieving process is different for every single person. But um, just helping one person and give you the extra nudge to help you stay on a positive track through that grieving process is amazing. Dalvin, that's great work. Uh, congratulations on all you've done here in this area, in Atlanta, and now I'm sure in Minnesota where you're taking your talents. By the way, uh, according to our research folks here, only two Dalvins in the history mm. of the NFL. Wow. Guess yeah, where they, they both, both play now. <laughs> Same teammates. <laughs> Good to see you, DT. All right, see you. Appreciate it.